All right, everyone, we're back. And you know what, Robert? I came up with another idea for these <laughs> if you don't use them for dough. And we're talking about kids. No. Oh, no, they I thought I was in trouble. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the margarita is cooking. It's working yeah. its way yeah. along. Double check it. Double check it, how's it looking? It's really close. Okay, so. this one. We're gonna do one I named in honor of my sister Madeline. We try and keep the pizzas named for friends and family. And, I love um, that. She's been a big help to me at the restaurants for yes. a number of years now. So. Well, and your dad, he did a little bragging today as well. He, he does that quite well. <laughs> he's, he's, very he's very proud, proud of his family and his son. For and sure. I'm very glad to have him. He's yeah. been a big help. To me. It was nice that he came today. It was very nice, very nice. Thank you. All right, he's out there. Okay, let's so, do it. We are gonna make the Maddie. We dust it in the flour here. And again, I mean, I have to tell you, if I want really authentic pizza, to be honest with you, I would come to your place. At home, I would do this recipe probably, but I'd buy the dough. I mean, And that's fine. You uh, know, it, the, the point of it is to have a nice, easy meal and not to, to stress out about it. Now, let's talk about, while you're getting this all set up, and just tell me what you're putting on while you do it, but let's talk about a thick crust or a thin crust. Well, they all taste good. <laughs> but the real traditional thing is a thin crust. What you see us doing today, stretching it like this, yes. baking it at a very hot temperature, hotter than your typical home oven. To be truly pizza, it's this. It's very thin. And you know, what Americans say, oh, it's focaccia, oh, it's Sicilian, right. oh, it's... Well, there are all variations on, you know, how hard is it to put something on top of some bread, <laughs> but pizza is like this. Add a couple more ingredients to the pizza here. We've got the mozzarella. Now you name this after you, to your sister. Is this her favorite? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I I'm have, gonna make it and you're gonna like it. I have one named after my mother and my wife, oh. and I know my wife, her favorite is the one named after her. My mother, I think, likes a different one than named after her. Look at these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. So sweet and beautiful, really, to use for a pizza. How we do, oh, look at. Pull this one out. He's got a, a pizza man's hands. Oh, that looks great. Look at that margarita pizza. Yummy. Let it just sit there on the grill for one more minute. Let it cool down a little bit. Zucchini. Zucchini, yeah, this is. Uh, now my question nice. for you is, you're gonna put it on nice and fresh, which I love. But you're not cooking the zucchini first, a little bit parboiling, No, right? it cuts so no, thin, thin. I we use see. it on a, a mandolin here, okay. um, it'll do just fine. Now, if you don't have a mandolin, and I know some of you don't, don't worry about it. You know if you have one of those square cheese graters on one of the side, it's That'd a work pseudo fine. mandolin. Or, you know, cut it with your knife the other direction, just thin, thin, little disc, it'll look just as well. That's all you need. A little salt, a little oil. Pretty much every pizza gets salt and oil. And oil. Um, but that's no sauce on this one. No, no sauce. This has enough moisture in the um, in the topping. All right, let's put this one in. And typically, the temperature of the oven is at home. If you've got a pizza stone, turn it up as high as your oven will go. Right. And let it really preheat. You know, give it a good half hour so that stone has absorbed as much heat as the oven's okay. putting out. All right. At the restaurant. We've got a large a wood oven. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. beautiful. And, and you know, our temperatures in there are 800 plus degrees. The pizzas are in and out in 90 seconds. Um, that's a big part of a real wow, traditional pizza. 90 seconds. Yeah, bake it hot. Bake it hot. Don't yeah. mess around with 350 or 400. It's, it's going to. Go for it, he's saying. Go for it. And we've learned a lot of things. Memphis and May, low and slow. Pizza from the best pizza maker in town is quick and hot. Let's put it in the oven. All right. And we'll be right back.